better? Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Parksburg, Eric, the, uh, Parksburg Community Day. Uh, my name is Eric Jameson. I am the president of the Parksburg Area Business Association, PABA. We are the ones that sponsored this event for the day. Most of the businesses put up some kind of a game activity for something for you to do. Um, we did this a couple different reasons. One is to thank everybody for their support. We have the local businesses that are here in and around town. These businesses are your next door neighbors. They live next door to you. Their workers live next door to you. So that's why we're here. Just a, just a small little thank you for your support over the year. Some of the ways that the Business Association affects the community. Um, the 12 trash cans, the wooden trash cans, are located throughout the borough. We donated six of those, and Home Depot donated the other six. We made, we bought the signs for uh, the Town Watch program. To support that, we honor a business leader of the year. We've done that for the last three years, and we do a scholarship. This is ours. We've awarded two scholarships to an Octavera school student. Um, we were the force behind the Welcome to Parksburg sign. It's, man, it's set up out there at the intersection of Route 10 and 372, with thanks to Wetzel Swain for the piece of property, and Jim and Betty Wild for the contribution of the sign. Um, so these are just some of the ways that the Business Association is, has been affecting the community. We have about 40 members in and around Parksburg. Uh, we will continue to try to move Parksburg along. Uh, to help bring more businesses in. If there is a business that you would like brought here, if there's something that can help us, please let us know. We'll pursue trying to get somebody out to here. Um, I think that's about all. I don't think I forgot anything, did I? <laughs> Thank you. Um, at this time, we'll call Mayor John Hagen up. Let him say a few words. Welcome, everybody, to the first of what we hope are many community days as the seasons pass. Eric did a fine job. Thanks again to Shelly and Nicole. Put this thing all together. And with the unwavering support of the strength and backbone of our town council, President David Jones, Kathy, Tom, Virginia, Ken, Mel, Chuck, I don't know if they're all here or not, our borough manager, Jim Thomas. I understand our police are here, but they're incognito, so you, you know, they're, just be careful what you do or say about the council while you're here, that is. <laughs> there's, not an off there's not a lot of opportunity. Hey, Jerry. You selling any of those? Uh, good. Jerry, anybody wants to buy this park for a bottles book, it's right. It's a good book. Very good. Not a lot of opportunity in a small town because we're all bent on our purian interest right now with the economy the way it is, the circumstances in our neighborhoods, our surrounding communities, figuring out how to pay our bills. But it really does the heart good to see people come out on a day like today. It's a typical fall day. And I, I really want to welcome everybody on behalf of your governing body, on behalf of your neighbors, on behalf of our surrounding community that is also here today. I see Ackland's here backing us up on the safety end of the deal. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone, and I hope you enjoy it. Buy Jerry's book. Stop at all our vendor booths. Have a good day. And without further ado, I'll turn it over to Stephanie beamer McClain on behalf of uh, Commissioner Cazone. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It is a great day in Parksburg. And as a resident for nine years before this, uh, it's great to see the turnout here in the borough. I'm here representing County Commissioner Kathy Cazone, who's, who asked me to come and say thank you to PABA 
for the wonderful job you did putting this together. Eric and his group really did a good job. Let's have another round of applause for Pava. Thank you. And um, also to recognize that Kathy, working with the county, is her job is, and the, and the county's job, is to work really hard to help the mayor and the outstanding council here realize your dreams for revitalization in Parksburg. And this borough is making progress, and it's a tremendous thing to see. And uh, we want to thank you very much for your attendance today. If you have any questions, we can take them afterwards. Thanks so much to everybody here in Parksburg, and have a great day. Thank you. My, my next job is it to introduce Val DiGiorgio. He's also here to say a few remarks. Thanks. Thank you, Stephanie. Hi, everybody. I'm County Controller Val DiGiorgio, here representing uh, Commissioners Kizzo, Stephanie was here for Commissioner Kizzo, and Commissioner H.O. and Farrell. And uh, on behalf of Chester County, um, thank you for having me at the Parks for today. It's a wonderful event. Thank you to the Businessmen's Association for putting on a great day. It's good to see so many people come out into their community uh, and uh, uh, share a, a beautiful day. Uh, we're doing what we can in Chester County to keep taxes low in these trying economic times. It's all about fighting for taxpayers. That's what my office does, the controller's office. I view myself as an advocate for Chester County taxpayers. Uh, we have the lowest, among the lowest taxes in the region among county governments, and we're going to look to keep it that way uh, in the months and years to come. So thank you very much for having me out today, and uh, uh, enjoy your day. And I want to say thank you to the mayor. The mayor, great job. Thank you. Listen, I also wanted to take a moment to recognize Jim Riley over here running for uh, Chester County Controller, Kip Stone, running for Chester County Treasury, Treasurer, and Mike McGann for Chester County Clerk of Courts. You're welcome to the mic. It's open mic day. Step up if you have anything you want to add. Here we go. Kip will be your next speaker. You're entitled to 500 words. <laughs> I think I probably have 500 words, but I'll spare you. Kip Stone, running for County Treasurer, um, qualifications, Retired bank vice president, so I have experience in both administration, finance, and large organization management. I would appreciate your vote, and on November 3rd, I'm the Democratic candidate. Thank you very much.